What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I am coming to you with a special One Hive Labs video. Uh, a little while back, I did a clan spotlight on my friend Boone's clan breaks. Now, uh, these guys at that point were still very new, but I could really tell based on my experience there and just kind of knowing some of the guys, there's a lot of ex uh, One Hive guys in there, um, that they were up and coming, and that's why I wanted to do that video. And Boone recently reached out to me and they were having their first ever arranged war. So I uh, asked, they needed a couple uh, couple high town hall nine weights filled and I obviously wanted to be part of that because uh, a lot of these guys are awesome and some old friends, guys I knew in Invicta for quite a long time. <clears throat> and not to mention, I wanted to come check out and see the progress they've made uh, since that video. I think it was must have been six months ago. Um, so anyhow, uh, first ever arranged war for breaks. They matched up with these guys, alphas, who it happened to also be their first ever arranged war. So, uh, coming over to breaks, uh, they made a lot of progress. They got YouTube channel going and I am actually here live with, uh, their YouTube guy, Rom. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Wazer. Thanks for having me, man. I'm really good. How are you? Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, pleasure to have you. Uh, pleasure to be here. I didn't want to step on any toes, obviously, but I thought, especially since this was Break's first ever arranged war, that we should do something uh, nice and special, uh, get a really nice video put out there, and uh, show a lot of really awesome attacks. So I am flipping over right now. I'm just going to check out the uh, result and victory for 88-87 in Break's favor. Uh, was a fantastic war. Fight to the finish here. Um, give you kind of the breakdown of the war. It was uh, no Town Hall 10s. There were two 9.5s at the top for each side and three Town Hall 8s at the bottom. Uh, so that's kind of how, how it worked out. Um, so a, a still a, a newer developing clan. I mean, uh, you can tell some of these guys are going to be Town Hall 10 very soon. Uh, so it's difficult to get an arranged matchup when you have this Town Hall composition. But it was kind of nice that it worked out because I guess from what I gather, Alphas is a really good clan. If you look at uh, the uh, war details here and check out the enemy uh war log or not war log sorry the enemy clan information uh wars 196 they've had 17 perfect wars they're 96 and 8 um so you know they also have a sister clan omegas alpha omegas of course so anyhow i guess uh, a clan that breaks had beat uh one of rom's first videos he did for the clan uh had told alphas about about breaks and uh, some of the leadership reached out to breaks and they put this together and i think that's absolutely awesome um and it's cool that they match too, right? A few Town Hall 8s in there, 9.5. So was a really crazy, uh, crazy war. Fight to the finish, like I said. Very close for both sides. A lot of really nice attacks from both sides. So just jumping back over to the breaks uh, information. So uh, YouTube channel is Gaming with Rom. I'm going to put that down in the comment section there, folks. So please, please, this video will obviously also be posted there. And they got a lot of other good stuff for breaks. This is a really good up and coming uh, fair play clan, guys. So I guess we don't even need to really use the term fair play anymore because supposedly we're supposed to all be fair play but uh fortunately those burner accounts still exist but let's not uh let's not sully this uh wonderful moment for breaks with uh even any sort of talk about that kind of stuff so uh twitter at breaks.clan uh they have how many you guys have 21 perfect wars that's just unbelievable 76 and 8 so you know some of these x uh one hive guys skip 03 s17 all guys that i know um boons in there but you know, when I joined the clan, uh, Rom, I was just blown away with the amount of guys that, with A, how welcomed I was, and B, the amount of guys that were talking to me about how that video uh, had them essentially join breaks, you know? So what? tell me a little bit about um, about your experience with breaks. How long have you been involved in the clan and uh, been doing their YouTube content? Yeah, man, no, I mean, uh, your video did absolutely wonders for the clan. I mean, I myself, I got into the clan because of your video. Um, I've, I've been there for, I don't know, I think maybe three months, four months now I've been in the clan. And I started doing YouTube for them about a month ago when we, we started getting really serious. And our Town Hall 9s have, uh, you know, upgraded troops and heroes and whatnot. So, you know, we're finally ready to get into the ranged war uh, scene. So we've applied for FPC, so hopefully we're going to get in there very soon. So, you know, we're definitely looking for more wars like this. And, uh, yeah, a, a, lot, a lot of our players are in this clan because of your video. And, and you know, and, that's yeah. just awesome, your, man. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, and everybody watches your 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 channel, so you know everybody was very excited to have you with us. And thank you very much for bringing Octane as well and yourself and yeah. to do this war with us. It was really, really nice having you guys over. <laughs> My pleasure. I was happy I was able to put up a tree star for you guys. Uh, same with Octane. Uh, again, we we had a blast, right? And uh, it's just really nice uh, c coming to a clan like this that was just you could feel the excitement with everybody. And uh, yeah, like I said, it was just a blast. So we obviously want to show a lot of attacks this afternoon. So why don't we just kind of jump right into this? I mean, uh, realistically, I'll just quickly run through our bases. They missed three of the Town Hall 9s. <clears throat> and going over there, we missed two of the Town Hall 9s. <clears throat> and that was the difference in score. One star victory for break. So fantastic job. Alphas, if you guys are watching, uh, just hats off to you guys over there as well. Really nice base designs, really good attacks. Uh, so great, great effort and fantastic yeah, yeah, really. work. Really, really good job to Alpha. It's really nice. I mean, they kept us on our toes the whole war. I mean, it was it was so close the whole yeah. from the beginning to the end. It was really good war. Really Straight good up, war. back and forth. So, um, so I'm pretty much uh, you know like I uh, don't want to steal any of your thunder. So really, uh, you know these breaks guys better than me, absolutely. So why don't you jump us into uh, the first attack you want to show here? All right, man. So uh, the first one we're gonna see is number twenty eight. Beautiful. And it's Lady Zara doing what she does best, which is a nice go-ho with EQ and Witches in the CC. Uh, it's an old school strat. It's probably not used anymore as much as it as, as was in the past, but she absolutely wrecks it every single time. So she drops the golems there for funnel, which is in the middle, everything working their way through that first compartment. Really nice UQ there, like opens up pretty much the whole base, leaves everything really, really uh, susceptible to uh, surgical hogging. <clears throat> Breaks in, King Golems, everything going in there. I think it's I do like I do like the witches. I've always been a fan of, of witches. I mean I know they got nerfed a little bit, but um, if you can keep your witches alive, they are the only unit in the game that creates its own units. I, yeah, I that's very true. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. That's very true. But uh, see, which is still up now, doing work. One of them is it anyway, and doing work, and then she starts sending in the hogs. As soon as that double jump bomb was uh, was was tripped, uh, that's it. Time for hogging. She does yeah. it really nicely counterclockwise. Everything moving around the base, and she's gonna have a really nice heal there over the Tesla farm in a minute. Yeah, just a second late almost saved that that one hog, but it uh, it's gonna take care of all those ones, no problem whatsoever. Good deployment here too, right? Like just handful, yeah. just a, the perfect amount of hogs per defense, I would say. Everything, everything just working their way around the base. She's gonna catch a <laughs> unlikely uh, giant bomb here towards the end, but it's too little, too late. She's got so many hogs left. Yeah, King is still full health over there, right? Still yeah. Skelly's running all over. See that witch? That witch has been alive yeah, the yeah. entire raid. So I know they're still standing there working on that DE storage, but that doesn't matter. It's still still getting amazing value, right, for 12 true space. All right, yeah, so uh, oh. clean up time, obviously. Still had, It didn't barely lost any hogs as well. Yeah, no, really good. Really good attack from Zara. Good job. Yep. All right. <laughs> One more trash. Ooh, didn't even see that army camp. <laughs> All right, so tree stars in the bag for Zara. Nice job. So what do we got next? All right, next one we got number twenty-seven. Really nice, nice Govalo. I really like uh, Loons paired with with uh, Valks because it gives gives you that the extra camp space for for more valks and you know you sometimes you just get more value out of loons than hogs no you really do you, well the, the thing is you have you have a lot less to worry about as long as you take care of the air defenses um and i find in a lot of these anti three-star bases some people forget about that right like they're so focused on protecting their air defense from queen walks and this and that they forget that if you leave a clean path for the valks to just walk through and take out the air defenses on the way you can just scatter balloons on the outer edges and it's you know yeah, it's a sort exactly. of like a new school govolo exactly and and this this base i mean look look at the air defenses the position is just like a pathway you know so the valks and and the rest of the kill squad can just walk through and take them all out realistically realistically with the placement of that stuff I always, whenever I look and I see an, a queen that will stand right in between two air defenses like that, I quite often lean for Shattered Lalo. 
But I mean, the CC was so far out, you had to lure the CC. I think this was a better option, um, just because you would have had to use lure troops. And when you're doing a shattered, shattered Lalo, you're you're very limited on the amount of extra troops you can bring to do things like lure and stuff like that. So I think this was the definitely the right choice here. <clears throat> just got to work through that Tesla. Then Queen's gonna step up, finish off, and look at that too. Level ten King and seven Queen. That is a that is a. The Queen hasn't been out of this. <laughs> The friendly queen hasn't been touched yet. I mean, <laughs> yeah, just great protection on that queen. Last air defense is now down, so the loons are moving in. They're going to be untouched completely. Still hasn't touched the queen ability, and it's cleanup time. Going to fast forward this a little bit. Just smash the base. Absolutely, Absolutely smashed it. Yeah, good job, splash. Sexy. All right, next up. All right, next one we've got is number twenty-one. All right, monkey. MG. MG coming at it with a really nice double jump go Vaho. Taking his time, going over the plan in his head. I like it. You can always tell there's that moment if there's that delay before the first troop is dropped. You're like, that person is so going over their troop placement right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you look at it, actually, the, the the whole attack is really, really short. So you know, it was really, really fast as well. He could, he could, he could have taken more time. Yeah, really. yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Nice funnel, very easy funnel with those army camps, right? I talk about that as well. I was just talking about that with Kadik, actually. Um, a lot of times, I mean, at some point around your base, you're going to leave sort of an easy funnel. It's inevitable. However, you got to realize when you do that, people are going to be looking for what do they get if they enter over there because if it's really easy to funnel people don't you know people are going to lean towards coming in from that side um so when you leave them too much value on an easy funnel that that can be a problem with your base building so but everything's looking great like moving in here heal spells down taking care of the valks there right that queen chamber is done for oh yeah absolutely wrecked hogs from the from the flanking defenses like from sides just Oof. wrecked wrecks lost, out, absolutely wrecks the base lost a few to those spring traps over at two o'clock but just yeah. has way too many like just overwhelming now <clears throat> tesla two archer towers to go queen stepping up gonna help out too see a lot of, as well again you know what level 13 heroes like this is not an easy thing to do right like <clears throat> I find uh, when I like, you know, I had level 25 heroes quite a long time ago and I actually had an account with level 12 heroes. It's not freaking easy to get the kind of push that you, you want out of your kill squad. No, no, it's um, hard. It's hard. So whenever I see these raids, I give huge props, right? Um, you know, low level heroes are not easy to get those tree stars. So nice job there, MG. Good job, buddy. <clears throat> so <clears throat> moving right. up. Moving up next is oh 15. Okay. Now talking about low heroes, check this out. <laughs> level 10 oh. queen, level 12 king going against level 19 king and level 28 queen and absolutely yeah. wrecks it. <laughs> Unreal. You know, max, completely max town hall nine here. <clears throat> so yep. this is a fantastic example. One thing I really, that really caught my eye with this attack was the three dragons. Yeah, the three um, dragons were really good. <laughs> I think it was great recognition, not only because that queen chamber is super easy to funnel dragons into. However, the dragons are going to get big value once they're in there because those air defenses are so offset that they're not going to get touched by them, as you're going to see what kind of works out here. Also, it's good recognition that he brought three instead of two because one you're going to see is going to get taken down really quickly. Yeah, there must be. A, there's a black air mine in the uh, yeah, exactly in the chamber there. So gets one of those uh, uh, bombs there with the Valk, so that's absolutely perfect. Heal spell goes down. Also, this is with level three Valks as well. I mean, it's not max. Oh yeah, it's I didn't notice that. that. <laughs> yeah. So very very impressive raid. So dragons are coming in now from the top. <clears throat> really good job with that. Queen's going to get kind of value on her own there, right? Nothing's going to target her. Probably prematurely hits that ability, but no big deal. <clears throat> Everything's standing under the heel. I like the double duty heel there, right? The Valkyries and the Hogs are getting uh, both getting the benefit of that heel spell. Yeah, it was really nice sharing that heel. That's great yeah. value there, always. Rage goes down. Also level three dragons. That's another point. Yep. <laughs> like, this, is, <laughs> this is just an unbelievable raid. <clears throat> no, very new Town Hall 9. Very Hogs are going to get nine. smacked a little bit by this king, but there's really only a few defenses to go, and there is just enough. Got to take down that Wiz Tower. 
everything moving through. Still, look at all the Valkyries alive. I mean, has he even lost a Valkyrie yet, this whole raid? I'm not sure. I mean, I the, the Valks just stayed together so well. The, the, the pathing was so nicely done. It was really, really good attack. Yeah. Really solid. Dragon really solid. locks on. So the air defense, just now, a dragon is getting targeted by an air defense, and the queen steps up just in perfect time, right? So that dragon lives through the rest of this raid. Definitely, we got a tree star in the bag here. Lava Hound burst give a little bit of problems, but no big deal. Nice job, Skip. Very impressive. Good job, buddy. All right. Next one we're going to see is number 13. Sounds good. Going in. really like this because he's got, he's got an EQ and a jump as well. Yeah, and, and that's uh, that's a big investment when you think about that's it. Right? A, yeah, that's a very big investment. You know, it's a cleanup attack, so he knows there's a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. So what I like, he, he only brings four wizards, just so he, he doesn't want to pop that, uh, the Hound at all. And yep. uh, I think the Hound is going to stay up until the end, if I'm not wrong. And it works out perfectly. Like, ideally, I, I, I talk about this all the time. When I do a cleanup, I have cleanup uh, episodes, and multiple times I've mentioned, when you see a Hound, I always lean towards Earthquakes. I also always lean towards Valks. I mean, obviously everyone leans towards Valks nowadays. <laughs> but <laughs> even pre-era Valks, I mean, I would because they're, you know, even if your heroes or wizards get held up on the Hound, the Valks are going to run right ahead and get the yeah, exactly. value you need out of your kill squad, right? So, and on top of it, you don't need poisons. You don't, well, I mean, yeah, you don't need them. So you can always bring that extra spell if you bring the earthquakes instead of uh instead right but brings the jump spell here i think that's perfect um has just goes in the fact that he he uses those spell slots and brings extra valks i thought was just perfect because you know if you're gonna invest those spells you better make sure that it's worth it right so yeah i know exactly but the healing spells are just perfectly dropped there, you know, like he, he calculated this attack to the last healing spell and everything. It was, it was really nice to see. Yeah, Absolutely. and exactly, exactly what you want to happen happens. The Hound locks onto the Valks, gets away from the Queen, away from the Wizard, so nothing is going to touch it. Queen and the Wizard are on the outside doing cleanup already, so just a fantastic raid here. Levi was doing mass Valks way before the update, so for him with the update now, he's laughing. <laughs> nice. Same with here. I, honestly, when I first started watching One Hive, Jake's One Hive videos, <laughs> my favorite attack was the Govalo, and I learned that as my first sort of three-star attack, and in wars with my old clan and those farm wars you get, I would literally look for bases that would that, that attack would work on, right? And I practiced that, and I started to get good with Valks, and then always i've always been a huge supporter of valks that's why i was just blown away when i found out they got buffed <laughs> but <laughs> very very impressive raid levy nice job man all right next one we're gonna see is number 11 all right you know otf andra the fist or first, first. <laughs> It's a very strange base, this one, with the army camps in the middle there. He's got, I don't know, it's, yeah, very strange, but he yeah. brings a double jump, go Vaho, and wrecks it. <laughs> with we, were, walk as well. we were chatting about that, and I thought that was kind of interesting. I was talking about how I have played with trying to put army mm. camps in weird compartments to maybe thwart a queen walk and turn it into a queen charge. or, um, But this could be very deadly, right? When you're talking about Valks, I mean, you don't know yeah, where no, they're going to go. Yeah. Sorry, no, go ahead. I was just saying, you don't know where they're going to go, right? Yeah, no, exactly. And if you look at this base, if you take down the sweepers and the army camps, and then they're all going to meet in the clan castle, then you don't know where they're going to split. They could split in all directions, which is, yeah. you know, if you're late with your jump and they're already starting beating the wall, then it's too late. You know, it's game over for your Valks. You lost yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing I want to note, too, I liked uh, the diversity I saw from the Alpha's clan castles. Um, you didn't see a lot of the same thing, I found. Um, oh yeah, no, no, that was good. So that was really good as well. But this queen charge going great, right? CC's yanked out. Golem's now in from the kind of one o'clock position. Wallbreaker's going to open that up. Ooh, as a bit of a wallbreaker fail there. Bit of a wallbreaker fail there, but yeah. no problem because the Vox are just going to mow through Shred that. No through problem. That. And I believe one or two wallbreakers still got a bomb off, so it just took one second for the Vox to finish yeah. that wall off. Uh, and I've talked about this before. Guys in One Hive, I don't know about breaks, will literally plan that and not bring wall breakers. They'll just create a good funnel and drop their yeah, no. on the wall. Actually, his wall breakers that failed, they were from the CC. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, that's right. Good call. Good call. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of that, too. 
uh, you know, it just fits perfectly. The three Valks and three wall breakers, especially if you know there's not a small bomb. Uh, if you time and uh, actually, if, if, even if there is, because a small bomb won't take out a max wall breaker, so it, it doesn't really matter. So they're kind of invincible on that front. Oh, <laughs> I never thought of that. That's a good point. That is a great yeah. point. I never thought <laughs> about that. Just fantastic thinking. So I'm always going to do that now. Quite often, I'll just <laughs> if I if I want to make sure the wall break is clean. I will. Uh, I'll just bring a wizard and a couple barbs, but make a good point. Yeah, no. There, there's some cases when you want to be a bit more precise with your wall breakers. You know, you, yeah. You want your yeah. You you want to deploy them your own. You don't want to be at the mercy of the clan castle. <laughs> Very sexy raid OTF. It's three stars in the bag. Yep. Good job. All uh, right. What's next? Right. Next, we're gonna see is number six. <laughs> Laloon. Oh, finally, nice. a Lalo. <laughs> so finally, something else from from Valks. <laughs> uh, I meant to ask twelve, what the twelve eighteen thirteen means. Uh, well, it's basically the date he started playing Clash. So eighteenth of December twenty thirteen. Oh, nice. I knew. I figured it was some sort of date. I don't know if it was like uh, his kid's birthday or something like that. But good to yeah, know. No, it's his uh, Clash anniversary. Oh, Jesus! It's so loud. <clears throat> So Very nice raid here, like a uh, uh, yeah, cold-blooded Lalo here. Really nice to see. Yeah, and I was talking to you about this as well. The big flaw is the air defense in the Queen Chamber. Um, you were mentioning too, a lot of times that's a bait that uh, you know guys set up their Queen Chamber enough so you think that you're going to get the air defense and you don't. Um, however, I think in this case it would just was not enough stuff because as you can see... Uh, one golem and the heroes and a few wizards just completely take out that queen chamber, the CC, and that air defense in the process. So, yeah, no, definitely not enough because the expo didn't cover that queen chamber. You need at least an expo to cover that queen chamber when you want to bait somebody into doing an attack you don't want to do. Pretty I much. think your king as well, just because the king holds yeah. troops up for quite a long time, right? You you want to pack as much crap in there as you as you can if you're trying to bait a cold blooded Lalo. Um, because even Plus, still, I've gone into a baited base before. They put a golem in the CC, but the problem was it was too easily lureable. So all I did was lure mm -hmm. the golem over to the other side of the map with an arch, a couple archers. I didn't even kill the golem. I just got it out of the way of the kill squad. Yeah, and then okay. I was able to take down the air defense, and it didn't matter after that point because I'm going with air, so who cares if there's a golem still on the map? Yeah, of course. No, but really, really nice deployment here of both loons and uh, lava hounds and everything. Just absolutely crushed the base. Yeah, like that hay spell at 12 o'clock. Good job on the rages down down low. Just pops all over the base at this point. Has Still has a yeah. ton of balloons up. It's really good. All of the lava hounds popped as well. So it's yeah. just perfect. The lower. <laughs> good old, good old cold-blooded quad lalo. Tree in the Nice bag. job, 12. Yeah. Good job. Sexy raid. I think that was the only lalo of the war. <laughs> No, there was another one, but oh, that's another video coming up with uh, with with all the six packs because we had something like eight six packs, which is crazy. So good job to everybody yeah, there. That's nice. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have a separate video with all of those attacks. There's another Lalo in there. <laughs> all right. So what's next? Right. The next one is number five. Right on. Another Queen Walk Govaho. But what I like about this one is he only brought three healers because that's all he needed. You know. Sometimes people are tempted to take four healers because that's a standard sort of queen walk army. But I, no. I talk about that a lot as well. Um, I'm I'm a I'm a sissy when it comes to my queen walks, <laughs> <laughs> so I almost never ever would bring three just because I don't know maybe I'm just not 100 percent comfortable with uh, with it. Quite often I queen charge as well, so you do need that fourth healer. But yeah. Yeah. If you can recognize that your queen is not going to be tanking more than a couple point defense at a time, you don't need that fourth healer. Exactly. Freeze up the uh, camp, spa, camp, uh, camp space for two more Valks. Finding yeah. Out there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And two Valks can go a long way in a raid. So everything nice and clean in from 3 o'clock now that that CC's pulled out. So these Valks are just going to get big, big value. Take down a defensive king, start working their way into that core. Still has a jump, two heals. It's got to get over to that queen chamber, but isn't going to be a problem. I really like that he uses the jump on the back end, not in the front end. I really like that. He uses just a heal to go yep. to go through the max walls. So, And I think that was the way to go because he knew his Valks were going to still be clumped up at that point. Yeah. Whereas yeah, at this exactly. point, they're split up. So he yeah. wouldn't be knocking down the wall as near as quick as he did there. 
No, it was great. Great scouting. Good poison <laughs> placement, good heal placement, right? Slows that queen right down, gets those Valks healed up, letting everything work through that core. Does lose the queen up there, so that was a little bit unfortunate. And again, that's kind of... That's from rounding the corner and only having that three, third healer, but too much of the base is wrecked at this point. It's. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, like, he, he's only just dropping hogs now. I mean, look at how much of that base is gone. Yeah, <laughs> he literally had the the outer defenses there, right, on the queen chamber, and then a couple that the queen missed on that walk, and the Valks and everything are in at 6 o'clock, and he's got uh, hogs supporting there as well, so... Cleanup Wizard's down, just has a couple archer tires to go. Ooh, hits that bomb there, but no big deal. Just has Good. enough hogs for, the, for to get the job done. So just enough. Good job, John. John Snow. Oh, <laughs> look, has just enough hogs to take down that last arch tower. Beautiful. <laughs> that is tree in the bag for John Snow. Good job, man. Nice. All right. Next one. This one we're gonna see. We're gonna see the top three because all top, all of the top three, they were fresh hit three stars, which I think that was really impressive. I mean, we 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 started off a little bit off, but then when we had the top three nailed with fresh hits, we knew that it's gonna go our way. And keep in mind as well, their number two was a nine point five, so it did have those extra walls and defenses. Um, I'm assuming yeah. I didn't actually look, but uh, so one of our nines uh, jumped up and hit that one. But uh, let's go ahead and check. We're checking out number three. Number three, yeah, that's your attack. Absolutely Wise man. smash that base. <laughs> nice queen charge, go for who? This base gave me a little bit of struggles um, when I was doing the planning. <laughs> but ideally, I wanted to get this uh, the CC yanked out. I looked at this 12 o'clock compartment and thought, if I could get the queen in there under a raid, she's going to be able to reach that expo. She's going to get the CC. She's going to be able to get a lot of defenses. Um and take care of a big chunk of the base and then i can go yep. basically straight in at the queen chamber and jump across to that other section and there would be very little of the base left for me here so <laughs> yep. that poison down right i saw that valkyrie and i knew i didn't get the full cc lure at this point so i was a little concerned i knew there would be at least a valkyrie left over um but I knew I still had that rage and I hadn't touched their ability yet, so it wasn't going to be a big deal. No, nah, you're, yeah, you're looking really good at this point. Yeah. I wanted, ideally, I want to kill the CC before that expo locked on, but I got everything else in the meantime. So rage went down, right? Just perfect timing, I think, on that. <clears throat> so on the edge of my healers there. So at this point, my queen is done. I get that early poison down on the queen chamber. I thought the queen was going to lock onto the golem. Um, she doesn't right away, so I kind of wasted that poison. But she's still standing. There she goes. And she's yeah, still no, she, she goes into it now, yeah. So <laughs> it's fine. And then, see, I didn't have to make a big funnel either because I knew with that cluster of buildings with the jump down, if I release the Valks right on those two touching buildings, they'd just go right in. And it kind of works out perfectly. Yeah, they would have got attracted by the queen anyway. So. Yep. So Valks going to go right into that Tesla farm under the heel. I really like that heel there. Yep. I think that was a good spot on that heel. Uh, obviously, I didn't know it for a fresh hit. I had no idea the Tesla farm was there. So I think that was that just yeah, of kind course. of worked out perfectly. Sent a it few support really hogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then I looked at these other... The reason I like these other three compartments is because they didn't look too threatening. There is a DGB in between the air defense and expo here. So hurts a little bit i lose a chunk of the hogs there uh but i keep in mind i still have two hogs in the uh, in the bag so um one thing i've Plus noticed you had all those fox and your queen with the healers on so <laughs> yeah <this> space was done. <laughs> yeah at this point it's done um i i what i was gonna say is that on these gova hose i'm finding more and more and more you have to save two to four or five hogs till the very end, till this point. When the Valks get in there and the Valks are going to be finishing off the base and doing tanking, having a couple hogs to send in on those defenses that maybe the Valks can't quite reach, it yeah. just are so clutch. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> Absolutely. Beautiful. I'm glad I could put that one up on the board for you guys. Good job, Wiser. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So let's check right. out Octane going in on number two. Absolutely smashing this base. Uh, really nice. Queen Wa Gova, Gova, really. It's not much of a hoe or a la. <laughs> brings, brings no back end <laughs> units because he, uh, he realizes he doesn't really need it. I mean, the level four Valks, there's no Infernos. Brings the heal spell to kind of keep him going. So, um, I, yeah, I just thought this was a brilliant attack. 
Yeah, and the, and the, the, the actual the double jump pathing just accesses all of the compartments. I mean, what, what's left, what, what they can't access is like not a problem. It's like an air defense, I think, or something like that. Is the yeah that compartment with the air defense and the king, I think. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so creates that nice big funnel with that wizard too. So forces that queen right down. Is going to want to get that CC pulled out. Going to have to uh, take care of that defensive king in the process. I'm not sure he's doing a lure. I think he's just going for it. I thought he was yanking the CC out. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, I am wrong. Uh, don't remember. Yeah, no, I don't remember. I've, I've seen so many attacks. Yeah, I always <laughs> going through, forget. Going through forget. all of the attacks. Oh, man, we just had our family scrim. Well, I was doing this one with Wiser, my other account I had in our family scrim, 50 versus 50. So when I'm done here, I get to uh, get to do that recap. That's going to be in it for both sides. So it's going to be a long video. We'll just say I got a lot of stuff I want to show there. So it was a really fun war. I actually saw first Town Hall 11, 90% of Max Town Hall 11 uh, using a bowler strat. So that was kind of cool. So oh, wow. uh, look forward to that one, yeah. It only got two star, but ninety percent was a was just a, a crazy attack, unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah, like you said, those jumps just perfect. I thought the haste was kind of interesting too. I've seen some clans use that the hasted Valks just to throw them through a section. Yeah, I've I've, I've seen that too, but I don't know. I, th I think they just moved too fast to get the full benefit of the of the spell. I don't know. I'm not convinced of the value. I don't even like necessarily raging my Valks for the same reason. Because unless your Valks, like, like you, unless there's a huge cluster of buildings in a compartment of Rage, they just go in and out so quickly. It seems like a waste. A Rage on Valks seems to be a lot better value on, like, Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s when there's, like, really compacted, you know, heavy defense areas and stuff. Yeah, like that. or, you, you know, really good. Rage over the Inferno Tower just so it dies very quickly, yeah. right? They get to it and kill it instantly, that kind of thing. But a Town Hall 9, I, I'm not a huge fan of the value. I think a heal spell, to me, is uh, is much better because you're going to heal your Valks up and you're going to give them time to either beat through walls or just continue through the base. So... Just a thought, but how do you critique a three star like this? Because just smashes the base. Still has that <laughs> column over there. Beautiful, nice three star octane. Good job, man. All right, all right. Number one, skip Number going one. in on Bircules. Skip again. Skip had a twelve star war. Absolute beast. <laughs> Absolute beast. <laughs> really good job. Oh, is that other skip the same skip? Yes, yes, that, it is. Oh yes, wow, it is. wow, wow, wow! I didn't realize that. So I like that earthquake, just perfect earthquake spell. Like, look, he opens both those compartments and the and the stuff at the top that he needed. Just perfect. Yeah, it was the same skip. I, I wouldn't normally I wouldn't normally put uh, two attacks of the same guy either, but I mean, twelve star war. Yeah, you know, that deserves, deserves some recognition. recognition. <laughs> Absolutely. Nice little funnel getting created here. Brings the cold blood of golem. I like the three heal spells going. Uh, in coordination with the uh, earthquakes there. Uh, so this must have been a cleanup attack. Oh, I know. He's got the poisons. No, no, it's fresh hit. This is a fresh, fresh hit. hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were talking about the top three were all fresh hits. So I thought that, that's a very interesting spell choice then, right? Going for the earthquakes, double poison, three heals. <clears throat> poison is safe, I guess, you know, rather than and, taking and a full look, heal or something like that. It's just safe. He needed them, right? Two witches come out of that CC. Or a witch yeah. comes out of that CC, right? It's a uh, really beneficial uh, poison there. Still saves one, though. I thought that was neat. I um, think he's going to drop that. Oh, I thought he was dropping that on the queen. Maybe he just has it for swag now. Queen's kind of <laughs> following in behind. King and queen still have their abilities. <clears throat> Valkyrie's just untouched, basically. Starts sending in those hogs, right, from the three to six sections. Heal spell goes down. Going to get almost get double value. Uh, yeah, there we go. Valk's running to that heal now. He's got hogs in on that heal. Still is a giant wizard. Yeah, he was hoping he's going to single trip a double giant bomb there, but unfortunately he was a bit off, so Just he threw him off, off a little bit. He lost oh. all the hogs there. <laughs> oh. And the skellies are on him. I think they do manage to get some of the cannon down at least, and then the mortar finishes them off. Loses the queen there, but has just too many Valks around the base, right? Still has cleanup wizards, cleanup minions all over the place. Has the king over there beating on a wall. He's going to join up pretty soon. Uh, just too many troops left for what's left. Yep. And that's the kind of thing with these 9.5s. There's just more base. So probably, you know, look at this. I mean, he's at 87% destruction, whereas a normal Town Hall 9 would pretty much be dead by now. He does have those couple extra defenses left, but just too much of the yeah. base to go. Got to get that king over there. Oops. Skype. Da -da -da. 
smash it through the wall, just barely gets it, and then the stupid builder's hut in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three stars in the bag for Skip. Nice job, buddy. Good job, man. Yeah. So crazy war, awesome attacks, man. Just you guys are doing fantastic over at breaks. Too, so keep it up, Rom. Oh, um, thanks, man. Thanks, thanks for coming again, man. It's it's been an absolute pleasure worrying with you, man. No, no, uh, my uh, all, it's all my pleasure. Trust me. Um, love love the fact that I did that video, and I love coming back and seeing just the progress you guys have made, and uh, being part of this uh, first ever arranged war and the win. So, uh, guys. Keep, uh, hey, here's a question. How about, I noticed you guys don't have many Town Hall 10s. Is that for a specific reason, or are you accepting Town Hall 10s? Well, no, because uh, we, we've only just had a few people go into Town Hall 10 now, so we're going to start accepting Town Hall 10s now as well. We didn't want any Town Hall 10s because, it, you know, we didn't want to leave ourselves maybe open to, you know, people not knowing how to attack a Town Hall 10. Pretty and then not having... That sounds bad, but that's what it well, is, you know. Yeah, this is why Caddick and I haven't quite got our base ten Town Hall ten base building videos out yet because until we're at that level, it's hard to tell other guys how to play at that level. But no exactly, matter how much exactly. experience you have, right? So I can see that if you guys don't have you know your own leadership or or core members in the clan already that are tens that can teach new tens, uh, you can't be comfortable bringing in guys that you don't even know, right? No, but now 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 our tens are really really coming through like you know they've got their max troops they've got their queens and kings upgrading so you know it's the, the, it's going to come we're, we're definitely going to start accepting tents now so we're going to do more sort of high level how high town hall wars from now on soon hopefully awesome so yeah guys check it out breaks uh, how do you apply to your to your clan as a side note uh, well, at the moment, we don't have anything else. We just apply in the clan, normal, and we do require you guys to share a three-star uh, attack, style attack from a war, you know, from multiplayer and stuff like that, and then we will give you a trial, a couple of wars, see how you do, and then, you know, if, okay. you, if you're good, you stay. <laughs> so, in-game in -game application, guys. Um, I had to check out that uh, the clan code because uh, one downfall, it's not easy to just search for breaks. <laughs> uh, a lot no, of people don't not. have that E or A in breaks or at least easily accessible. I do, so it's easier to find. But the, the clan code is uh, hashtag LQ9YQJ9. Uh, check these guys out. Fly in clan. Show a couple... Uh, Show a couple replays for them, and uh, you'll get a tryout. So, um, anything else you wanted to add to this war? Uh, no, man. Except that everybody in the clan thanks you for this video and the last video, and for warring with us and oh. being such a good guy. <laughs> My pleasure, man. Absolutely. So, uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, let's uh, call us an afternoon, and uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, we're out.